Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm going to be showing you another bit of my book, because I have lots more animals. Last time I had 72. This time I have at least 150. So, I mean, more than 150, that's what. Anyway, um, we're going to do, I mean, I'm going to show you the, some of it until, like, until I get to the one, ones I've so it, I made a new I read I colored the black widow spider and I made a club tail dragonfly right here and then and then on this page I did I on this page I really didn't do anything I just did some more lines and stuff like that and over here I colored my sea gooseberry really nice and then over here I did, added more spots to the whale shark and I made a lot more this I colored the uh, bullfrog and I made a a barrel eye and a fried egg jellyfish so and in this one I don't think you would like to eat it because it has many stinging tentacles. Anyway, it doesn't taste like egg, just so you know. And then over here I did a few other good animals, like the... I think I only did one, though. Anyway, um, we have an axolotl right there, amazing salamander. Over here, I think I showed you the these ones, but I, I think I did this one already, didn't I? But... The gulper eel, then we have a forest leech right here. And then we go on to the next one. And we have a some more banana. Did I? I think I did uh sorry. Um did I think I already did color this, but just to make sure I did. And then uh, over here is a Humboldt squid, also known as El Diablo Rojo, or, which is is Spanish for the Red Devil. So over here, I did some more cool drawings, including a orange sea pen and a coconut crab. I think I might have already showed you that, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. Anyway, um, here's a ramipede and a horseshoe crab over here. Did. I haven't colored that much, so I'm gonna go get to coloring pretty soon, and then that then we can have lots of party time. Anyway, we have three different animals right here, including a large-headed ant pod. Which actually, if you look really closely to the bell of it, I added a little tiny um amphipod right there because I actually eat the insides of a jellyfish, but a type of crab prevents, eats the amphipod from eating the jellyfish. Symbiotic relationship. There we go. Here's an American brine shrimp right here and an American fig wasp. It's pretty nice. Then over here we have uh, some more good animals including our um, beluga whale or flamingo. Our, uh, I think I already did that though. But anyway, um, Narwhal, we have a blue mussel and a bobby worm. And then if we flip the page, this right here, I had some more. This, I changed this one to an Adeli penguin because I thought it more looked more, and plus I already made an emperor penguin all the way over here. And that one was way better than this one, so keep, keep that in mind. And I think I did show you the blobfish. I might not have, but anyway, here's a giant tube worm also. Then over here we have our um, la ladybug and phytoplankton. I think I showed you these two already, so yeah, I keep on using the word I think. I'm playing hard to get with that word. <laughs> anyway, um, I made a sailfin flying fish right over here and a uh, giant centipede, de giant desert centipede. They scared me more than tarantulas, to be honest. You know what? In my in my school, we got touched cockroaches. That was really amazing. I loved it. 
I think I might have showed you these ones. In, just in case, this is a giant oceanic manta ray and a Hercules beetle. Here's a uh, great wolf, a gumboot chitin, a uh, firefly squid, and a red octopus. Really interesting. I have two cephalopods in this collection. I'm not, not two, but anyway, um, here's my bullet ant, coyote. Oh, it's stuck in my arm, it's stuck in my arm. Anyway, um, then here's a monarch butterfly. And then over here we have an ulm, which is an eyeless cave salamander that actually can live up to a hundred years and its pro scientific name is proteus inguinus and it's also known as the human fish and then over here we have an an american lobster which i did terrible on and then a coyote perfect anyway over here we have our cone snail macaroni penguin and then we have a happy face spider Hawaiian happy face spider, and then a blue a dragon sea slug, or a blue angel, no, right here's a cougar, right there, and a eastern king snake, right there, perfect, and then flip the page, and we have a lot more beautiful animals, including our mimic octopus, our icon star, our marabou stork and our black rhino. I have nothing on this page because I have some other stuff right there. So, um, all right. So, over here we have our oh, this blank paper and our African rock python. I did not do a well good job on that one. Over here we have a African soft-shell turtle, a American alligator, an American badger, and over here is an Eastern subterranean termite. So that's pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. And over here we have some more amazing animals, including an American pine martin, an American kestrel, American black bear, American red squirrel, and a Diadem Safaka. And then over here we have an, our, our American Toad, Amer Antarctic Petrel, Antarctic Silverfish, and Antelope Jackrabbit. So that was the other bit. And, uh, and some of these are based off of TV shows, like, like Wild Kratz, because um, they're, they're really good art. Like, I know it might be computer based, but anyway. Why can't this uh, anyway? There it is. Here's an Atlas Beetle, an Arizona Bark Scorpion, a Arctic Wolf. Um, I can't read. I know it says it right there, but anyway. Um here's a Atlantic flying fish. And then over here we have a but um our ba banded archerfish, our bicolored stink bug. We all love those stink bugs. We all do. Then here's a Malagasy hoverfly, a black dragonfish. Here's a, a little elf owl. Look at how cute that is. It's so cute. It's so cute. I like me. Mm -hmm. If I was cute. If I was cute. If I was cute. I was cute, but what of like anymore? Yay. Right, anyway, um, here's a black footed parrot, a black mamba, which is a very venomous snake. We have a blue crab, blue jay, and a desert pebble mantis. Nice. Anyway, um, here's a blue street cleaner ass, a bobcat, brown dog tick, and a Bornean orangutan. I love that one right there. That's pretty cool. Like it a lot. I like it like that. Got the upper name of one. I'll tell you. And over here, I think you remember this 
Um, I made a box turtle drawing. That was, and I made it again. In it was 20, 2019, This is twenty twenty. Yeah, nice. There's a bowhead whale right there. Our box turtle right here. I love that box turtle. I'm coloring it a little bit. You see. And then you have a brown anal, which is a type of lizard found like Carol in the Carolinas. Has those little throat pouches that are used to attract mates. Anyway. Here is our brown leaf chameleon. And then we have a brown pelican right here. A brown thrasher. Those are all basically brown because for that bullshit. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Anyway, um, I had to do that. Um, brown throated three toed sloth. It's a mouthful, I know. Here's a bull shark. Intruder. Anyway. While I'm working, I'm gonna, we have 11 minutes, so, um, I already have 11 minutes, so, yeah, I'll show you another part, do another part. so then over here we have an oarfish, or, uh, darkwing beetle, tree lobster, Caribbean her hermit crab and a burrowing, burrowing owl. Over here we have a giant stick eggs, fang tooth, sea pig, dole, blue whale, and emperor penguin. That one's way better, as you see. Right. We're gonna go. Goodbye. I have more. I'll show you in, in a little bit. But I gotta go.